Hello brethren. We are glad you are here today during the 100 days prayer and fasting window. We are at the altar of solution in Zion prayer movement outreach, led by God's servant Ibuka Obi. The prayer ground is a Holy Ghost citadel of Ofesharofancha. Okwesharofancha. Omesharofancha. And Otisharofancha. Welcome to the day 28 in 100 days fasting and prayer, Friday, June 14, 2024. Topic, The Faith That Moves Mountain. Scriptures from New King James Version, we take on Matthew 17 verse 20, So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Habakkuk 2 verse 4, Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Meditation and Summary on Today's Scriptural Passages It is irrefutable that there is nothing impossible to a man of faith. It is by faith that we believe that God exists, because no one has seen God face to face. In Habakkuk 2 colon 4 the word of God says that the just shall live by faith. This is because it is impossible to receive anything from God without faith, unless on the ground of mercy. 1 Kings 17 verse 1, the scripture recorded that Elijah, the man of God, declared that in the name of the Lord, the living God of Israel, whom I serve, I tell you that there will be no dew or rain for the next two or three years, until I say so also, in Matthew 17 verse 20 the scripture says, that if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can say to this hill, go from here to there and it will go. You could do anything. I urge you, if you believe that God exists, also believe that he can do all things, because there's no impossibility before God. Faith brings transformation, healing and deliverance. It brings about what was not in existence to be in existence. By faith there is no hopeless case before a believer, because when he prays, God will intervene and there will be an instant solution. This program shall see the end of your problems. Your problems will not overwhelm you. You shall testify and your testimony shall be great in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. We take on our prayer points 1 to 4. Prayer point number 1. Lord, by your power, grant me a prevailing faith that will make a difference in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, Grant me a prevailing faith that will make a difference in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, grant me a prevailing faith that will make a difference in my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number two. My Father, by your power, 
destroy everything limiting my faith in you in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power, destroy everything limiting my faith in you in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power, destroy everything limiting my faith in you in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power, destroy everything limiting my faith in you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number three. My Father, by your power grant me a conquering faith that will enable me to love and serve you better in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power grant me a conquering faith that will enable me to love and serve you better in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power grant me a conquering faith that will enable me to love and serve you better in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number four. Brethren, pray for our spiritual director, Evangelist Abuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Brethren, it is important according to Ephesians 6 verse 19, and for God's servant, that utterance may be given to him, that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which he is an ambassador in chains, that in it he may speak boldly, as he ought to speak. For that reason, in Philippians 1 verse 19 For he know that through our prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ what has happened to him will turn out for his deliverance. We intercede as it is written in Colossians for verse 3 and pray for Zionites, also, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which we are in battles. We invoke the throne verdict from Isaiah 44 verse 25, Jehovah who frustrated the tokens of the liars, against those who satanically use Zion prayer movement outreach as their full-time business, and God makes diviners mad, he turned wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish. Again, in Job 5 verse 12 he disappointed the devices of the native doctors and crafty that speaks against brother Abuka Obi, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, let God arise and scatter every conspiracy from the heavenliest and from the water that rages against God's servant and his ministry, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Almighty God! According to your word in Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 27, there is no one like the God of brother Abuka Obi, who rides the heavens to help his servant, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is prophet Abuka's refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, he will thrust out the enemy from before Zion prayer movement outreach, and will say, destroy. Again Father, your word says in Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We decree and declare. O you that troubled the ministry of Evangelist Abuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, the God of fire and thunder shall trouble you today, in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, your word said in, Zechariah 2 verse 5, For me, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around Zion Prayer Movement's premises, and I will be the glory in her midst. Now we pray that every enemy of the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, scatter, in the name of Jesus. O God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! You have challenged us in your word, Isaiah 41 verse 21 that we should present our case, says the Lord. And we should bring forth our strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. We therefore pray according to Isaiah 8 verse 9, Be shattered, O you people of Antichrist, and be broken in pieces. Give ear, all you from far countries. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces, gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Take counsel together against the God of Zion prayer ministry outreach, but it will come to nothing, speak the word, but it will not stand, for God is with Zion prayer movement outreach. Trust in God concerning the treachery of friends in ministry. To the spiritual director. With stringed instruments. A contemplation of Prophet Abuka Obi, Selah. According to Psalm 55 verses 12 to 14, he prayed. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal in the evangelical movement, 
my companion and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. O God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! In your word Psalm 109 verse 28, let them curse, but you bless, when they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant brother Abuka Obi rejoice. In Psalm 112 verse 10, the wicked will see Zion prayer movement outreach and be grieved, they will gnash their teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked social media shall perish, in the name of God of Ofa Sharafantia, Okwa Sharafantia, Oma Sharafantia, and O.T. Sharafantia. Amen. Hallelujah. Also our Father, your word said in Matthew 15 verse 13, said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. O oh God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in Jesus' name. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Father, we pray like your prophet Jeremiah 17 verse 18, Let them be ashamed who persecute prophet Abuka Obi, but do not let him be put to shame, let his enemies be dismayed, but do not let him be dismayed. Bring on his enemy the day of doom, the day of calamity, the day of disaster, and destroy them with double destruction. For it is written, 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble Zion prayer movement outreach. We pray now, let the fire of Holy Ghost and revival fall upon Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in the name of Jesus, our Father in heaven, according to your word in Psalm 27 verse 11, teach your servant brother Abuka Obi your way, Lord, lead him in a straight path because of his enemies. Heavenly Father! In your word, Numbers chapter 6 verse 23 to 26, speak to prophet Abuka Obi and his congregations all over the world, saying, this is the way you shall bless the children of Zionites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you, for the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Zionites, and I will bless them as their God. We conclude our prayer point number 4 according to Galatians 6 verse 17 to 18, From henceforth let no man trouble Zion prayer movement outreach, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Brethren, pick up your prayer effective prayer book, page 12. Our prayer for healing of sickness and diseases. Almighty God, I remember and stand by the power in your word in Exodus 15 verse 26, that you are the Lord that heals me. I come before you to be healed of these sicknesses and diseases. There is nothing you cannot do. This sickness has no power over me. I know that healing is children's bread because your word assured me in Psalm 103 verse 3 that you forgive all my sins and healed all my diseases. Also in Jeremiah 30 verse 17, you promised to restore my health and heal my wounds. You also said in Psalm 107 verse 20 that you sent forth your word and healed them. On this day, Lord, I hold you by your word. Let it be accomplished in my life today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My healing Jesus, in Exodus 23 verse 25, you said that Thank you would take you, away Jesus. sickness from my life. In Isaiah 53 verses 45, you bore my sickness, sorrows and pains. I decree by your stripes and wounds of 1 Peter 2 verse 24 that I am healed. Amen. Lord, stretch forth your healing hands and heal me. I know that this sickness and disease will not lead me unto death, but it is for your name to be glorified in my life. Glorify therefore your name in my body in Jesus' name. Amen. Let every form of spiritual and physical sickness in my body receive fire of the Holy Ghost and dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. I command you sickness in my head, dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. You sickness and disease in my eyes and nose, dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. You sickness and disease in my ears and mouth, dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. You sickness and disease in my neck and chest, dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. You sickness and disease in my hands and legs, dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. You sickness and disease in my stomach, dry up in Jesus' name. 
Amen. You sickness hidden in any part of my body, cancer, HIV, typhoid, malaria, liver or kidney infection, high blood pressure, rheumatism, arthritis, ulcer, constant pains, injected or projected sickness, etc. I cause the root and source of all these sicknesses to dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. Your word says, if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in me, he will quicken my mortal body. Romans 8 verse 11. Lord, let my body be quickened by your healing power. I receive divine healing in Jesus' name. Amen. My head, eyes, nose, hands, legs, stomach and every part of my internal and external body receive divine healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. I claim divine healing in my spirit, soul and body. Amen. I claim divine healing in my body in the morning. Amen. I claim divine healing in my body in the day. Amen. I claim divine healing in my body in the evening and night. Amen. I claim divine healing in my body from Monday to Sunday. Amen. I claim divine healing from January to December. Amen. I claim divine healing as I sleep in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Jesus, I claim my divine healing by Abraham faith in your name. May this healing be permanent Isaac in Jesus' name. To the Lord. Amen and amen. Jacob amen. Build altar to the Lord. <laughs> Please brethren, see the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family as it is written in Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Our YouTube channel does not represent the ministries in any way or speak on their behalf but the spiritual director have many times encouraged lovers of kingdom of God to propagate the gospel of Savior Jesus Christ and our channel don't solicit funds of any kind. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Shall we call the house of prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him. Before the crusade, you will be surprised what will happen. Remember that our fasting is coming to an end gradually. Now you should talk less. And listen more to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes at this dying minute, the enemy tempt people of God to spoil what they started for a long time. And I have told you before, even if you have fell, start today. We still have almost 28 days or 29. Be serious right now. I've tested this God who speaks to me all the time about people's case. I've tested and know he's good. Talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him. Before the crusade, you will be surprised what will happen. I told you before, some people will receive their own miracles instantly. Some people have received already. They will still receive. Some people, after the program. Everybody's timeline is not the same. 